The Tattersall's October yearling sales concluded this week after what has been a remarkable two weeks of trade. The highest price yearlings sold during the second session of Book 3 both went for 90,000 guineas. The first being Lot 1708, a 10 sovereigns filly who was secured by Joe Stone on behalf of Rabba Bloodstock, the sales leading buyers across the two days. The filly out of listed winner Lady Grace is set to join the string of new market handler Ishmael Mohammed, having been sold by Oak Grove Stud. Lovely, lovely back pedigree. The mare's done very well. Of course, she was a listed winner as well. Um, I think I think it was a good sale. Likely that she was a standout on the day. Um, she was very, very attractive. Um, good moving filly with a great temperament. So whilst we're delighted with the price, I'd say she probably was worth it as well. The second lot to make 90,000 guineas was a filly by Acclaim, who enjoyed a significant pedigree update prior to the sale when her half-brother Washington Heights placed third in the Redcar two-year-old trophy. The Bear Stone stud consigned offering was secured by Dwayne Woods, who confirmed she would go into training with his brother, Sean Woods. She has fantastic uh, uh, pedigree update uh, that the mare is a young mare. Uh, she's had a good update in that um, she's had a listed third. Uh, this filly itself is a very, very good specimen, uh, walks really well, plenty of scope and size, and a really nice demeanour. Uh, just loved it a bit. A selling came to a close at Park Paddocks with the conclusion of Book 4 on Saturday. Tattersall's marketing director, Jimmy George, had chance to reflect on what has been a record-breaking edition of the Tattersall's October yearling sales. It's been a phenomenal couple of weeks at the Tattersall's October yearling sale unprecedented number of yearlings sold. We've never sold more yearlings than we have in the last couple of weeks and turned over 199 million guineas in the course of the last two weeks, which is quite extraordinary and, and, and a sum that so far exceeds the previous record combined turnover for the October yearling sale. Uh, it, no, it, it really has been an outstanding few days. Last year the combined turnover for, for the October yearling sales at Tattersall's was uh, just over 150 million guineas so to, to make very very nearly 200 million guineas this year is, is just a tribute to so many different people. I mean it's a tribute to the quality of the yearlings that uh, that we've been sent by the consigners from book one all the way through to the end of book four uh, and you know they, they put in so much hard work to get these yearlings here to Tattersall's in front of the buyers and it's just wonderful to see so many people so well rewarded in the course of the past few weeks and uh, look these are the best yearlings from Britain, Ireland and further afield and uh, that's what brings the buyers here year after year and and they're, they're here confident that they're going to find the cream of the European yearling crop and uh, that, that is the evidence of that is seen on race courses throughout the world year after year and that is the crucial element and even today uh, in, the, in the middle of the night uh, the Caulfield Cup winner in Australia, one of their truly iconic races in Australia was won by a yearling bought for very reasonable money at book two of the October yearling sale a few years back bred by Kirsten Rousing who obviously bred Alpinista to win the Arc de Tri off and owns Alpinista. Yeah, these sort of results, they're coming every weekend throughout the world and that is why we see so many people here year after year at Tattersall's for the October yearling sales. In some ways it's, it's almost hard to know where to begin. There have been so many records broken here at Tattersall's in the course of the four books of the October yearling sale but as ever it's, it's wonderful to, to have sold the highest price yearling sold in the world this year, the 2.8 million guineas Frankel Colt epitomises everything about book one of the October yearling sale and what makes it Europe's premier yearling sale. This combined with record turnover at every single one of the, of the four books, record averages, record medians, unprecedented numbers of yearlings sold for 100,000 guineas or more, it really has been an extraordinary show of strength from start to finish and it all started with the outstanding book one. One of the consistent features of uh, the October yearling sales at Tattersall's is the, uh, its extraordinary ability to attract so many overseas buyers and this year they were here in, in abundance. 
a very strong contingent of American buyers combined with buyers from Japan, Hong Kong, China and obviously throughout the Gulf region and throughout Europe but equally the domestic buyers, the British and Irish domestic buyers have been hugely competitive too and throw all of that into the mix and that's why the Tattersall's October yearling sales in 2022 have been so strong from start to finish. It truly has been unrelenting and the ability of the sales here at Tattersall's and in Newmarket to attract this global audience year after year is what gives the consigners the confidence to send their very best yearlings. It's wonderful to reflect on two very successful weeks of yearling sales here at Tattersall's but it's also been a very important couple of weeks for, for Newmarket and the surrounding area. These are important, important times of the year for the town and Newmarket continues to attract buyers in huge numbers and these past two weeks have very much reinforced Newmarket's status as the European hub of the thoroughbred industry and Tattersall's very much at the heart of that. Now we can look forward to the Tattersall's Autumn Horses in Training sale which starts a week on Monday. It's a unique sale, the largest sale of its type in the world and again promises to attract a, a truly global audience for, for another special sale at Tattersall's.